okay so now for the body we are going to use the pink yarn and we'll start by doing six single crochets into the magic ring in the first row and now in the second row we are going to increase every stitch around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we'll increase and increase the next stitch and increase all the remaining stitches okay so now in the third row we are going to do a single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet then increase in the next stitch and repeat single crochet and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fourth row we are going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then increase and repeat two single crochets increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the fifth row we are going to do three single crochets then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then increase in the next stitch and repeat three single crochets and increase and we'll keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the sixth round we are going to do four single crochets then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then increase and then you keep repeating that so for single crochet increase and repeat all the way round okay so now in the seventh round we are going to do five single crochets then increase and repeat all the way round for a total of 42 stitches so single crochet one two three four five and then increase and keep repeating that so five single crochet then increase all the way round okay so after we are done with that now for the next five rows which is from row eight until row 12 we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 42 stitches in each round okay so do single crochets all the way in each row until row 12 and then we'll do the 13th round together okay so after we're done with the 12th row this is how our little bunny looks like so far so now in the 13th row we are going to do single crochets all the way around but in the back loops only so we, are, we usually have two loops so we have the front and the back okay so we're going to go into the back loop and do single crochet and then in the back loop of the next stitch do single crochet and we'll continue like that doing single crochets in the back loops so you can see you're going to have a little bump over here okay and continue doing single crochets in the back loop only all the way round okay so after we are done this is how it looks like you can see the little bump over here so this is where we are going to crochet the skirt when we finish okay so now in the 14th row we are going to start decreasing and we'll do five single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way round 
for a total of 36 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in the next two rows which is row 15 and row 16 we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 36 stitches in each row so I'll see you when you're done with the 16th row and then we start the 17th row together okay so now on the 17th row we are going to Okay, so after you're done with the 16th row this is how it looks like so now on the 17th row we are going to do four single crochets then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then decrease and repeat Four single crochets and decrease and you continue repeating that all the way round okay so now after that for the next two rows which is row 18 and row 19 we are going to do single crochets all the way round for a total of 30 stitches in each row okay so i'll see you when you're done with the 19th row so that we do the 20th row together okay so after now the 19th row this is how it looks like so now in our 20th row we are going to do three single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three and then decrease and repeat so three single crochets and decrease and repeat that all the way round Okay, so after that now for the next two rows, which is row 21 and row 22, we are going to do single crochets all the way around in each row for a total of 24 stitches. So I'll see when you're done with the 22nd row and then we do the 23rd row together. Okay, so after the 22nd row, this is how our work looks like. So now in our 23rd row, we are going to attach the arms and we are going to start by doing five single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four and five okay and then i'm going to take my arm so i have to make sure it looks on this other side okay and then in both uh, sides of the arm, I'm going to flatten it like that. And then I'll do four single crochets. So I'll go through both sides of the arm and the body. So one and again. two and three and one more four okay so like that 
okay and then after that we'll do nine single crochets so we'll do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then after that we'll attach the arm make sure they're both facing the same side okay so we'll crochet in the arm and the body so single crochet one and then another one so two and three and four okay and then we crochet two single crochets in the remaining stitches so single crochet and single crochet okay so now we have a total of 24 stitches okay so now in our 24th round which is our last round of the body we are going to do single crochet i mean two single crochet then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two and then decrease and then repeat two single crochets and decrease and then we'll repeat that all the way round okay so after you get to the end i'm going to remove my marker then slip stitch and we are going to cut off the yarn okay so now after that we are going to make the skirt okay and for the skirt i'm going to attach my yarn you remember the back loops that we did so in one of the loops i'm just going to attach my yarn over here okay and then i'll do a chain two so chain one and two okay and then in every loop I'm going to do two double crochets okay so I'll start by here where I did a chain two and then I'll do a double crochet and then in the next loop I'll do two double crochets so double crochet one and another double crochet two Okay, and I'll repeat the same so two double crochets in the next loop okay and you continue like that and you do two double crochet in every loop until you get here where we started okay so after we get to the end when we're done with the first row we are going to do a chain two so one two and then we are going to do double crochet in the next stitch so one double crochet so here in the first double crochet in the top spaces of the first row and then in the next space um, I'm just going to put my marker here to know where I started 
okay so now in the next space i'm going to do a double crochet increase so i'll do two double crochet in the same stitch okay so i'll do double crochet one and another double crochet in the same stitch and then in the next space i'll do one double crochet Okay, and then in the next space I'll do two double crochets so one double crochet and then another double crochet and then I'll keep repeating that so one double crochet and then two double crochet in the next stitch okay and keep repeating that all the way round Okay, so after we get to the end now I'm going to remove my marker and then I'm going to slip stitch on top of the chain 2 that we did and then I'm going to cut off the yarn and finish off so to finish off I'm just going to pull the yarn onto the next stitch like that Okay, and then I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so now this is how it looks like. So now you're going to um, stuff the body over here, as you can see. Okay, so stuff it fully. And then we are going to attach all the parts together. So the head first, and then the legs, okay? Okay, so guys, as you can see, I've already finished attaching all the parts together. Okay, so what we do now, uh, I attached the head first, as you can see, and you have to make sure uh, the stitches are adjacent to each other because they are both uh, the same number of stitches. Okay, and then after that, I attached the ears. And for the ears, I counted one, two, three. And on the fourth row, uh, from the top, that's where you attach them, like that. Okay, to the side. As you can see, we have the little cheeks over here. So you have to make sure they are on the side. Okay, and then after that, I attached the legs. And for the legs, I counted one, two, three, four, five, six. And on the seventh row from the bottom, that's where you attach the legs like that. And you have to make sure they are all in line together. So the ears, the arms, and the leg, they are all in line together. Okay, and for the small details here, so I just embroidered the small eyes uh, using uh, the black yarn, a black yarn. But if you have dull eyes, you can use those ones. As you can see so this is how it looks like okay and then the little mouth over here too I embroidered it using a black yarn okay so guys that's it for today if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and also check out my other videos until next time bye